Hey guys! Welcome to Info Stock Junction. In this video, we will talk about a notorious American psychiatric, who had an utterly bizarre way of treating his mental patients, causing hundreds of deaths, and left thousands of them mutilated. But before we jump onto the video, please subscribe to this channel for more such interesting content. Science and technology has definitely advanced to the stage, that patients are no longer exposed to permanent, and painful medical procedures without their permission. But in the early 20th century, the scene was different. Dr. Henry Cotton, was an American psychiatrist, and the medical director of New Jersey State Hospital at Trenton, a large mental asylum, from 1907 to 1930. Cotton had studied psychiatry in Europe, under Emil Krepelin, and Alois Alzheimer, who were considered great researchers of psychiatry at that time, and was also a student of Dr. Adolf Meyer of John Hopkins School of Medicine. Cotton had a bizarre insanity theory, that all mental disorders stem from disease and infection polluting the brain. His theory was primarily based on the observation, that people who run high fever sometimes suffer hallucinations. So, he began to implement his theory, by pulling out patients' teeth, as they were the prime suspect of infections. When he noticed, that not all patients recovered from madness after this procedure, and instead, it started causing problems in eating, and speaking. He then looks after other sources of infections, and began started removing other organs from the body, such as tonsils, stomachs, gallbladders, spleens, intestines, testicles, ovaries, and colons. Cotton claimed that, by doing so he managed to cure almost 85% of his patients. This feat gained him a lot of appreciation in the world, including medical journals, and his fellow practitioners. Family of mental patients begged to be treated by him. He became so famous and affluent, even New York Times wrote in his appreciation that, at the State Hospital at Trenton, New Jersey, under the brilliant leadership of the medical director, Dr. Henry Cotton, there is on foot the most searching, aggressive, and profound scientific investigation, that has yet been made of the whole field of mental, and nervous disorders. There is hope, high hope, for the future. But due to Cotton's insane surgeries, the mortality rate of his patients began to surge, almost one in every three of his patients died as of his bizarre surgeries. Patients who felt the wrath of his procedures, and began resisting were often dragged while screaming into the operation theater. But somehow, Cotton always managed to escape from the critics. New York Times, in his support after he replaced his male staff with female wrote, the men naturally are too rough with patients, and that male patients are not so excited by the approach of women nurses. Cotton believes the presence of women nurses is restful to the diseased mind, after various accusations, and prevailing doubts over the procedures adopted by Dr. Henry Cotton, an investigation was initiated in the year 1924, by Adolf Meyer, who deputed his form student Dr. Phyllis Greenacre, to conduct a study on Cotton's work. From the very beginning, Greenacre felt something was not right about Cotton's work, and his procedures, and she reported, that institution had sour, fetid odor so characteristic of mental hospitals, and described Cotton as singularly peculiar. She was disturbed by seeing the conditions of the patients, as most of them had sunken face, and having difficulty speaking as their teeth were removed. Also the staff record were very messy, and his data were not matching with his claimed statistics. She discovered that, the actual recovery rate of patients was very less, and the mortality rate was almost 50%. But all of Greenacre's effort were wasted, as Adolf Meyer didn't want to ruin the career of his former student, and refused to disclose her investigation reports. After the retirement from Trenton, Dr. Henry Cotton practiced the same bizarre procedures to treat insanity, on rich families' patients in his newly opened clinic. He even went a step ahead, and started a new theory in which, he advocated the removal of colectomies on children to prevent madness, and to stop them from engaging in bad habits such as masturbation. He even removed his own, wife's, and his both children's teeth in order to prevent them from insanity. Cotton died of heart attack in the year 1933. Both of his sons committed suicides later. Overall Cotton and his staff extracted over 11,000 teeth, performed 645 major surgeries, killed hundreds of people, and mutilated thousands. However, he remained respectful in the eyes of world, and Trenton Evening Times in his obituary manifested that. All must lament the loss of this great pioneer, whose humanitarian influence was, and will continue to be, of such monumental proportions. 
So this is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching, but before you leave, let me know what you guys think about such maniac doctor, in the comment section below. If you like the video, then don't forget to press the like button, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe to this channel for more such interesting content.